Bounty Hunter is only one week away, which means I need to add the finishing touches to my PK account. This is my Pity Pure, and trust me, this account is as OP as it gets. It's got Pity, Rigor, 70 defense, 50 attack. However, it can get even better. I want 91 strength, 95 ranged, 83 construction, and the torso by the time Bounty Hunter releases on May the 24th. Oh, and did I mention this account is only 94 combat? Join me as we finalize the account every pure Zerka and Void of Fears, the Pity Gmail Pure. <laughs> Okay, so first we're going to start with strength. My priority is to get strength, construction, torso, then if we have time, range. At 91 strength, we should be able to hit around 42 with the Gmall, and most people my combat level will have between 1 to 45 defense. So I'm currently at Nightmare Zone, about 45k XP off 90 strength. Also, we're currently sitting at around near 16 million points, as I did a lot of my training for this account in Nightmare Zone. We should finish the strength level with around 17 million points, and these are going to be very, very useful for my time in Bounty Hunter. More on that later. Okay, so just about to hit 90 strength. I've been absolutely powering through that Nightmare Zone. It's so easy. So 450k at 60k an hour, we're looking at about another 9 hours to get 91 strength. By that time, we'll hit 87 HP as well. So we should be at 94.9 combat. If we do get around to range, we will be cannon in that. I also don't have Void on this account. Now, I know some of you may think, well, why don't you go get Void? That's a must. But the thing is, when you've got 70 defense, Void is a very offensive gear set, okay? So the defense isn't high on it. If I use void yes i'm going to be offensively quite good but i'm going to be offensively good anyway the main thing that my account has on other accounts like zerkas voiders and pures is defense so i want to try and maximize that as much as i can by using like nezzy torso torag's legs d boots etc so yeah we ain't going for void i am going to leave that okay so i'm just about to finish nightmare zone trip i'm 22 percent of the way to 91 strength which is great but i'm kind of just say in front of my computer and i don't want to afk so i think i'm going to mix it up and whilst i've got the motivation Make a start on the construction now. Okay, so we're starting the construction grind at 26 construction. Obviously, the goal is 83. So let's see where we can get to in the next few hours. And that's 33 construction. We can now make oak larders, which is the fastest construction XP until we get to the mahogany tables, I believe. And look at this. We're already getting like 90k an hour just by doing these chairs. Like, I'll be surprised to see how much we get with doing oak larders. And 50 construction, two more levels to the mahogany. And then I'm pretty sure we can get a butler right now. Is that right? Oh, there's so many unlocks okay well hopefully you can get a butler because i don't want to have to keep banking but we'll see i'm just gonna get 52 and i'm gonna go check 52 construction we can now move on to uh mahogany bench wait what no mahogany tables oh right mahogany diamond tables whatever uh i'm gonna go get a um find out how to get a butler now i know it's easy and where to get them but i'm pretty sure you need to build this tip jar right or some bells or build a bed God knows. Okay, we've had to build two beds apparently to, to have the demon butler come in. I'm unsure why that is because he's not going to be sleeping because we are going to work on those mahogany tables. So he better get his running shoes on. You hired, mate? Ah, oh, where, 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 where do I put a bell then? Okay, take two. Take two. Hoping I can get when I get it down back to like 500k an hour. I was getting like 580k an hour, I'm sure, before on my main, but we'll see. We need like 2.5 mil XP, so we're here for at least five hours if we get that. Okay, Tixi Construction, as you can see, we're getting about 640k construction XP an hour. It's absolutely rapid, and to be honest, I scuffed it at the start, so... I reckon we could get about 700k XP. I'm gonna try that tomorrow. I'm gonna go to bed now. So these are the gains for today. Right, last one. 70 construction. We're getting nearly 700k XP an hour. I am gonna stop here for now. <laughs> Do some editing and AFK strength because Jesus, this is an intense method. Now I'm still AFK in strength. We are currently 250k off 91 strength. Amazing. But I've just been reading the Bounty Hunter blog released by Jagex for the upcoming update. Now, some of these things are not set in stone yet. So of course you have to play it by ear and see what's good on release. A lot of stuff will probably get nerfed. Some other stuff may get buffed. Yada, 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 whatever. 
but I really like some of the things they're saying. I'm very happy that it's going back to a like arena kind of concept, like a circle crater. Like I remember playing Bounty Hunter back in whatever year it was where you know you had the, the skull and the different coins above your head depending on how many kills you got and then the red one was five, it looks really cool. But wait, hang on, who's that on the edge of the arena selling GP? Is that, is that Stella? I'm also very happy they've mentioned when it comes to matchmaking that your targets will be five combats below or above you. They have mentioned though that you can cast a wider net if you're feeling a bit fruity. It does say this is just going to be if you decide to turn it on or off, which is a great update. Okay, so we just hit 75 construction. Um, obviously, look at the top. We're getting literally like 730, 740k XP an hour. It's obviously going to go down now as I'm speaking, but unreal don't get me wrong it's super intense luckily i'm watching youtube videos but oh my god oh i don't know how long i'm gonna keep it up definitely can't go all the way to 83 like this but yeah i'm gonna keep plugging away as quick as i can and 76 construction uh that's me done for now i'm gonna go do something a little different okay so we're actually hopping over to karamja and the reason for that is because we are gonna go and fish karam wanji now we are collecting those because they are a stackable food that can be used on your cat and I want to go and get all the orange spices that I'm going to need in order to get the construction boost. The reason we're getting 83 and not 91 is so that we can plus 3 boost with the crystal saw. And also on top of that, plus 5 boost with an orange spice. This will mean that we can gain everything that we need from construction whilst being 8 levels lower than the highest tier of items we need. No! No, 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 he's watching it. No, me cat's gone. And all I got was five orange spices, which is equivalent to six. Oh, no. Ah, oh, pretend it never happened. Okay, since the unfortunate death of the old cat, I come and got two construction levels, meaning we are now only five away. I've got from 60 to 78 today, so we're gaming. We need about one mil more XP. A lot of gains still to be made. Let's go. Okay, first level of the day, 79 construction and 80 construction. Wow, that's really good to get out of the way. We literally logged in. We've been logged in for 32 minutes and we had to go to the bank and get our supplies. So it literally took us 30 minutes to get 78 to 80. It's very rapid. Very happy I've banged that out of the way. I feel like 80 to 83 now feels very short. While I've got the motivation, I think I'm going to go have a start on the tour. So we can do 80 to 83 construction in an hour. We can get 90 to 91 strength in like two and a half hours AFK. And then we can just do range and grow the kitten to make sure we get enough spices to boost for our items at 83. Torso is our last big grind really. So I am going to try and tackle that today. I've got two days off work now. So let's do it. Okay, so we are here in what is to me the Barbarian Outpost prison because I hate this mini game. But we're going to try and smash it, stay positive. Hopefully we get a good team. To be honest, if you have a good team, like it's actually a really easy mini game and you just fly through, you just have to do your job. But the problem is finding a good team. So we're going to switch to the Barbarian Assault world and just pray this is an easy ride. Good luck us. And that was easy. Let's finish this grind. 83 construction, meaning we can plus 8 boost. And that is our first tick for Bounty Hunter ticked off. First attempt. We get the boost, we gotta be rapid. 87, okay. That's not the one we wanted, but we can do the anti-venoms. Okay, cool. No one attempt and then we have to grow the cat we're gonna have to grow the cat anyway for the altar but i'd rather just have that in my house now so as soon as we got the torso we could have a little pk ah <sighs> never mind okay so yes i believe we've got enough points to get the fire torso that actually wasn't as bad as i remembered i was always annoyed about the Bender roll. Another unlock on the account. Another max hit gained. And man, I'm nearly ready to peek it. Okay, first clip of the day. Um, we are only 42k off. Oh, who's this? Go away, Leo. Um, we are only 42k off 91 strength, so we need to do that training. But 
I thought of a really cool name for this account and I want to see if I can change it. So let's try Ity Smitey. Oh my God, that is unreal. And here we go. The grind is going to pay off. Well, not really grind. We have K'd it all. We're going to hit 91 strength, meaning we have completed three out of the four goals for this account before Bounty Hunter. It's the 21st today, meaning we've got three days left. And that is 91 strength. Let's get out of here. And we did end on over 17 million points. Now, the reason for this, as I mentioned previously, was because actually we want to use these to imbue Berserker rings, okay? So I haven't decided what my gear setup is going to be yet. However, if we do use the Berserker ring, I want to be using the imbued version for the plus two strength max hit. We've got a lot of points stacked up. And then if we go deep world EP can in the future, we can imbue Sears rings and then we can imbue an Archer's ring in a sec for training. So, you know, it all adds up. Okay, so we're here at the training spot. I've not watched a video on this yet. I'm also growing the kitten because of, uh, well, you know. But I don't really know where to place the cannon if you can just stand there and not get hit. I don't really know how it works, so I am going to have to do a little bit of testing. But once we've done that, this is going to be just be where we have to really sit for like the next X amount of time. Actually, this might be it. Okay, I've settled with this spot. Okay, so I'm just going to sit here for like an hour, see what the XP is. And then I'm going to YouTube after that hour to see if there's like a better spot. Right. We're going to have to decide on what we want to do because I ain't cannon in 20 hours worth of range. I just did 30 minutes and man that was horrendous the question is do we get 95 combat and then get ranged up through slayer because we do want to get the blister eventually from monkey madness 2 and then just accept the 95 combat to the 94 and then that means we can get strength up as well okay so i've decided that i am happy to sacrifice one combat level and be 95 instead of 94 and then do ranged through slayer to make sure i get 69 slayer so i can do monkey madness 2 and get the heavy ballista now of course we're not going to get 69 slayer 60 hunter in two days before bounty hunter releases but if i can get close to the slayer level do some wildy slayer and then also birdhouse my hunter on the way towards the 60 hunter it will be decent so that's the plan wildy slayer birdhouse is on the side and we're going to be doing slayer with ranged Let's get as close to that monkey madness as we can because once BH comes out, I'm going to want to PK all the time. Another grind, but we're going to work hard. Let's do it. Okay, it turns out we actually had Bone Voyage done. Thank God I didn't have to go do that quest. So there's no quest that needing to be done at the minute. I'm going to start Birdhouse runs and then I think I'm actually going to send my bank on over account, that all the stuff and try and get a web weaver because if I'm going to go from 21 to 69, I might as well just do a web weaver rather than do an MSB. Okay, so... Obelix built. Wait, what? So I just have to go to a random one every time? I've not done the work. Oh, whatever. Okay, we're ready to start Slayer. This is the gear we'll be going with. We'll be bringing anti-PK gear with the Gmo and the Super Combat Potion and also Venge. Literally, we risk 200k plus FR, so probably like 400k, 500k. to say 500k every time. It's not the end of the world. Let's start the grind. Lava dragons, that's a that's a dreadful task because it's immorty, but YOLO, I'm doing it. She see money all around me. I look like I'm the man. Well, We've achieved most of our goals. All we have to do now is do ranged before Bounty Hunter comes out. I won't bore you with that progress, but if you want to find out how many kills I get in the crater, there's only one thing to do. I'll be back for Bounty Hunter release. Be ready. Be ready. 